Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're going to be going through my everyday makeup basket and shop my stash for April of 2020. So we're in some crazy times right now, and I really hope that everyone who is watching is safe and healthy as they can be right now. But this kind of quarantine time is also going to heavily impact what I choose for this month, because I can actually pick things that I normally wouldn't pick. So my goal for this month is to pick like foundations that don't match me, bright eyeshadow colors, you know, things I couldn't normally wear to work or wear out of the house, whereas now where I'm working from home, and even though my calls are video calls, my webcam isn't the best, so like something that would look really, really bright and bold in the office isn't as impactful in a webcam. So I do have a lot more freedom now to do different looks, and I kind of want that really to inform uh, this month's choices because we're looking at at least, I think, uh, this quarantine lasting until May. So let's go ahead and just jump in. I'm gonna go through the box first, pull out all the makeup, put it away, and then we'll shop my stash. Okay, so starting up here, I want to leave all the green lipsticks because I still haven't done that video. I should be able to do it soon. I want to pull out all the ColourPop lipsticks because these are very neutrally and pinky and I could wear those when we're actually allowed to like go back outside. I also want to pull this. This is from the Balm. It's also another like not as bright color I can still wear. Uh, this black lipstick I'll go ahead and put back into my collection. I've been reaching more for um, other different black lipsticks. This is a green lipstick. Those are all green lipsticks. I'll pull these eyeliners. They're all from ColourPop. I'll put those back into my collection. I'm also going to pull the sugar pill because it's a very neutrally color. I can wear that when we're no longer stuck inside. I'm actually going to pull this NYX Control Freak eyebrow gel. I love the eyebrow gel, but I've had this for too long, and I have another one in my collection that's brand new. So this is going to be an empty, and then we'll bring in the new one. I think this mascara can go for another month, so we'll leave that along with the glitter glue. And I think that's it here. I've got, I've got some setting sprays over here that I've already kind of replaced. I ran out of my... Um, Fix Plus from MAC, so I replaced it with this Make It Last from Milani, and I still have the rest of the spray is the same. And then my lotion and my headphones. So let's move into drawer number one. All right, so foundations and primers. I really want to pull all of these foundations because they work really well for me and they match me, which isn't what I should be reaching for right now. <laughs> So I'm going to leave this eye primer in here. I'm almost done with it. I want to finish that up. I'm going to pull these two concealers. One is Pat McGrath, one is ColourPop. I'm going to pull all these foundations. So we have the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth, the Patrice HD Liquid Coverage, the MAC Studio Fix Fluid, the Collab Bright Spark, and uh, I'm going to leave my white mixer. I might still need it. <laughs> I'm also going to pull this ColourPop Pretty Fresh hyaluronic acid tinted moisturizer and I'm gonna leave this um, primer just because it's like literally almost empty and I want to finish it so I'll leave that primer in and then I'll leave this eyelash glue <laughs> can't remember the last time I actually used it but I should like actually try to do lashes now that I'm not going anywhere okay we've got that we've got that I'm also gonna put this back in my collection the revolution putty primer it's not called the putty primer it's called the pore perfecting primer but I've been using it and I actually so you remember uh, from last month there was an elf putty primer in here I panned that completely that's gone so I feel like I use the putty primers a lot and I want to pick something different other than like this one so we'll pick something new from my collection next drawer so again I want to pick really different things so I think I'm gonna pull just about everything other than face powders here. I've got the Sailor Moon and ColourPop blush. Look how cute. Red thing. I've got this contour palette that I've been using non-stop from Lunatic Cosmetics Labs. I need to like switch it out and use something different. I've got these two highlights, one from Pixie, one from Milani. This is California blush. The single shadow that I honestly really didn't touch. I'm not great at using single shadows. And I'm going to keep this. So I've been using this in my brows. This is the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Risk Maker. And I'll move this back into my collection. This is the big Too Faced original like diamond highlight. 
And I'm just going to be keeping these products. So I've got my AOA Studio Perfect Powder. I've got my Hourglass Face Powder. And I've got the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. This is actually almost empty, so I'm probably going to finish it this month and then replace it with... I think I only have one more left in my collection. This got like as a sample during my last Sephora order. I don't really know what it is. <laughs> I might just put it in like my giveaway pile. Definitely keeping this. This is my NYX Eye Pencil in Cottage Cheese. If you missed my update video about... Um, I pan that palette and how this has helped me a bunch. I'll throw it up in the cards, but I'm definitely, I might move it up to the top part. Ooh, it's almost fine. So again, I want to pick newer things, different things, bolder things. So I'm going to move all these back into my collection. I have the ABH Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. I have the Dominique Cosmetics Rustic Glam Palette. I have the Blushing Glow Palette from Profusion. And the original Jaclyn Hill and Morphe Palette. <laughs> I already picked the- oh my god, I almost dropped them. <laughs> I already picked these out, and these are the original Lorac Pro palettes 1, 2, and 3. I really want to film a palette resurrection with all three of them and do like one look per palette. So I already picked these out, so these are going to go into the palette drawer, and we'll continue emptying out this bottom. I like this Millennial Pinks palette so far, but I want to do something different this month. So I'm going to put that back in my collection. And I'm going to keep the Lemonade palette in here. I really didn't get to use it that much this month. And I think now I'm definitely going to have more chances to play with different kind of shadows. And the Sailor Moon palette, I do love it, but it is very neutrally. Like two-thirds of it is. So this is going to go back into my collection for now. Okay, so that is everything that I'm pulling out. I'm going to go ahead and put all of this makeup back into my collection. And I'll bring you over to Shop My Stash. All right, guys, welcome back. We are now in the makeup collection side of my vanity, and we really need to pull just about everything, literally everything but face powder. So we're starting up here. I really want to get some concealers picked out. So I already used these two. I really want to pick. So for base products, I want to pick products that really don't work that well for me. That way I can use them in quarantine and get my use out of them. <laughs> So let's see. Let's pull the salmon color corrector. And let's see. My collection is actually pretty good. So I think I might pull out these two that I had last month that I said didn't work for me. So this is the Kylie concealer and the Ulta concealer. So I'll use those two and see if I can either make them work for me or just use them up. <sighs> Oh, you know, my very neglected single shadow drawer. The poor deers in here. I think I'm just going to leave them alone. Over here. All right. So eyeliner. Well, first of all, I want to pull the new NYX Control Freak Brow Gel because I love this stuff. So that's a brand new one I can open up. Hmm. I really don't know what I should pull for liner. I'm not really using liner. But maybe I should. No one can see a shitty cat eye like on a video camera, right? Probably. So I decided to bring in two bold pencil liners, one from Lancome and one from Vintage Cosmetics, and they're both just black pencil liners. I may, I might do like a very like smoky cat eye. I can do it now because I'm just home. So yes. That is it for that. Lashes. Should I pull lashes and actually try to wear them? I think I should. Let's see, should I pull the most ridiculous lashes that I own? I think that would be these velour. Oh, look at these. Look at those. I'm gonna pull those. And we'll see how ridiculous I look. All right, so for glitters down here, I'm already pulling them and using as I want. So I don't think I need to pull anything specifically. Yeah, we'll just leave it at that. This has turned into my new tech drawer. I have like my external hard drive and some other cables there. So they just live there. Moving on down, this is my tape drawer. So I can, I'm trying to get better at doing swatches, guys. So I can have a better, <laughs> more cohesive Instagram feed. But that's there. This is my nail drawer, which I have not done my nails yet. Don't look at them. And let's go to lipsticks. I really want to pick something different for lipsticks. So this is everything that we had already put away from this month here. 
you know what, I should make this the time for bullet lipsticks because I would never really like wearing bullet lipsticks out because they're so finicky. All right, so I pulled these lipsticks. I pulled one bullet lipstick from Besame Cosmetics. I pulled one bullet lipstick from Urban Decay, and then I pulled this Jeffree Star liquid lipstick in white. Either I use it as a liner, or I try really wearing it. And this is what the two bullet lipsticks look like. They're pretty neutral, a neutral and a red, but I really rarely reach for bullet lipsticks because I know they don't last as well as like a liquid lipstick. So I want to take advantage of being home all day and wear these. Okay, so now it's going to be time to get into the drawers and pick out the rest of our products. So for foundation and primer, like I said, I want to pick things that I don't think I would really reach for or use if I'm looking for like longevity, perfect wear. So let's see, I'm going to pull this. This is an old foundation from Marc Jacobs. This is the Remarkable. I want to use this. I'm gonna pull this. This is the Conceal and Hydrate Foundation from Makeup Revolution. It is a bit light on me, so yeah. Let's do oh, it's leaking too. Why are you leaking? Oh my god, look how messy it got just in my drawer. Oh, I'm gonna have to clean that up. Okay, so let's see. What else? Honestly, the only things that I like wouldn't want to wear outside the house for a full day are the ones that I like just tested and reviewed, which I stuck all the way in the back of my drawer. Which are these two guys, the Wet n Wild and the Milani. So you know what? Yeah. If there is ever a time to use them, it is now. So we will push these back. Push that there. Bring that down. That down. And there we have it. So I picked four foundations, which I think is going to be plenty and give me a lot to play with for primer. Let me see. Let me look at the foundations. We've got a lot of matte and we have, wait, we've got a matte and we've got hydrating ones. So I should use this up. This is pretty old. This is the Revlon Photo Ready Pore Primer. I should pull that out. I want to save my Charlotte Tilbury, so let me pull this one out. This is the Garnier Skin Active BB Cream. It's a BB cream, but I use it as a primer. All right, so we've got two primers. We've got four foundations. Let's move on to the next drawer. All right, so down here we've got blushes, we've got bronzers, we've got face powders. I have face powders. I think I'm good at face powders. Hmm, for blush... What is so crazy I would never really wear it out? And the answer is this one. This is from Geek Chic Cosmetics. This is a loose blush called Let Them Eat Cake. I really want to use that. And let's see, do I have any bronzers that are like way too dark for me? No. I might pull out a face palette or two. So maybe we should do that instead. Yeah. So let's go to the highlighter drawer because now that I'm not leaving the house and highlight barely shows up on my webcam so we can go we can go nuts with this highlight man that took long enough all right so highlight I want to go bright I want to go colors I want to go bananas like what I would never really leave the house wearing and I think that would be One of these. These are pretty strange colors. Let's do this one. So this is the Becca Light Chaser Highlighter in Pearl Flashes Gold. And it's just a different color. Something that's too strong for work. But now I can wear it. And I want to go for a crazy highlighter palette. I've got like almost every ABH Glow Kit. <laughs> no, not that one, not that one, not that one. I think it's right down here. Yes, so I'm bringing both of these out because when else am I going to use them? This is the ABH Dream Glow Kit. Look at those colors. Yes. And this is the Moonchild Glow Kit also. Oh, look at those colors. Hell yeah. Okay, and I think with that we are great for highlighters. 
This is my miscellaneous empty drawer. I got like some lip glosses, some empty palettes. <sighs> yep, that's about it. Now this last drawer is my face palette drawer and I'm gonna just knock the camera everywhere. So here, I really wanna pick something that I'm not reaching for. What am I not reaching for? I would say my hourglass palette. I haven't reached for this in a bit. We can bring that out. And then to get like some actual contour action. Hmm. I mean, I, wear, I can wear that out of the house. Let's see. Okay, so since I have more time in the mornings and I've just got more time overall, I've decided to pull these out. So this is a cream contour palette, which I don't really use cream contours ever, or any cream products, but I'm gonna try. And then this is just what matches, like the powders. So this is the Revolution Pro HD Palette Contour from Revolution. I don't even know if it's Makeup Revolution or just Revolution. Who knows? But I think that sets me up for bronzer, contour, and um, highlighting. Okay, so that's everything over here. Let's go ahead and shift over to eyeshadow palettes. Because I want to pick some different stuff. Okay, so... Here we are over here by my eyeshadow palettes, and like I said earlier, I want to pull things that I could really never wear to work. Or, like, out in, I guess, respectable, I don't want to call it respectable company, but it's not anywhere near professional. Because I'm not going to have another chance like this <laughs> for a while. So, I'm going to pull this. This is the Moonwell Bundle from Divina Cosmetics. This was a collab with Angelica Neekvist. Nice bright colors. Next, I want to grab this. This is the Smoke Sessions palette from Melt. Hello! And yeah, I think I could just have fun with these shimmers. And of course, something that I would literally never really wear. We're gonna pull Blue Blood out. So here's the palette. I don't think I've even used every shade in here, but if I was ever going to use it, now would be the time. And I really want to try and like use this with blood sugar, my pan that palette, and see what I can come up with, see what gets my creative juices flowing. Okay, so those are all the palettes that I'm going to pull out. That's just kind of what popped straight into my mind when I thought I'm going to be in a house for a month. What do I want to play with? So let me go ahead and put all the makeup we picked out into my basket, and then we'll, we'll be back for the final look at my everyday makeup basket for April. All right, so everything has been added back into our basket. Starting right up here, we have our lipsticks, our liners, our new NYX Control Freak, and that's about all I'll change up here. <laughs> Here's my new switch. <laughs> I just keep it over here because I charge it over here. I treated myself to this along with the new Animal Crossing game, so if anyone else is playing Animal Crossing, let me know down below. I'm having way too much fun with this game. And let's go to back to the makeup. This is drawer number one, all of our foundations, concealers, primers. Here's drawer number two. We have our face powders, our other face powders, <laughs> more face powders. We've got our lashes, and then we've got our cute little highlighter, blush, and color tattoo that I'm using for my brows. Here's drawer number three. I've got my Lorac palettes, I've got the Smoke Sessions, the Davina singles, and my two... ABH glow kits. Gonna move my towel right over and last but certainly not least we have this bottom drawer. I've got the lemonade palette, I got the blue blood palette, and then I, blah, 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 <laughs> the blue blood palette and I've got a whole bunch of these shimmer shadows from CoverGirl and from Stila that I've been most reaching for. And of course over here I have my pen that palette that just lives right over there. I just posted an update, so make sure you check that out if you haven't already. So that is everything that I'm going to be using in April. Picking different things, trying to go through things that really don't really work for me. Since I am working from home full time, staying in full quarantine, making sure I'm washing my hands and everything, and that is my alarm. <laughs> Sorry about that. So that is everything that I'm going to be using this month. Uh, let me know what you guys are going to be using down below and if it's really different since we are in these different times and we may or may not, well, let's just admit it, life as we know it has completely changed. So thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you 
in my next video. Bye.